everybody, it's Renee, and we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. I got this floral wire from Michaels, and I'm just using it to cover up the rubber band in the hair, as well as giving myself plenty of places to put flowers later on by weaving them through different uh, pieces of the braid. This is the fabric that I'm using, but I'm using the back side of it. It's a suede cloth. Um, I'm going to just fold it over and then use these tiny templates that I made to make sure the leaves are about the same size. I trace them onto the fabric with a highlighter, pin them together, and then I'm going to cut them out. To make the leaves, we're just going to use some wire, some jewelry wire, and some fusible webbing. Um, if you're doing this on a bigger scale, you might want to go get it by the yard. Um, I'm just using it for the leaves and the hair right now. All I did was put some of the fusing on the bottom leaf, sandwich the wire in between it, put a layer of fusing on top along with the other leaf. I'm going to use this scrap piece of fabric as a pressing cloth and make sure that my iron is set to the linen setting with no steam and I'm going to put it on top of the leaf and add pressure to it every now and then. Um, I did flip over the leaf in between just to make sure both sides got the same amount of heat and there is your basic leaf. To clean up the leaf a bit, we're just going to even out the sides, not to make them perfectly symmetrical, but just to get rid of the place where the leaf fabric overlaps and you can see like the raw middle part. And after that, to give the leaf a little bit of texture, all we're doing is just um, cutting out little notches in the side of the leaf to make it look kind of organic and have like a little bit of battle damage so to speak. For the paint job on the leaf, it is a mixture of yellows and greens. I used the um, lighter yellow to break up the base color of the green. And I did use my heat gun as kind of like a blow dryer to speed up the drying process before I went on to the next step. All I'm doing is just using the yellow around the edges and I use either my finger or a sponge to blend the yellow into the green in the center. And I do layer this at least two to three times depending on the um, leaf at the time. For the center of the leaf, for the vein work, I am using the darker green first to just do like the shadows and give me like a, a layout of where I'm going to put the lighter green, which is going to be the highlight of the veins. And this just helps add dimension to the leaf. And after all that, you can use your Scotch Guard to spray this to protect it and you have your leaf and you do that 500 more times for the flower decorations in the hair do not use rubber cement I don't know why I did um, you actually want to use hot glue to adhere the bobby pin um, to the stem of the flower or whatever you might be using that's got a stem um, I don't know why I think I thought that it would give me a flexible hold but it just died and it's probably because I didn't use it properly which I do do later but use hot glue to attach this I just wanted to show and I was going to have a kind of tiara or crown of leaves here I'm just showing you how I attach the leaves to the wire um, I'm just bending them around and once I like where they are I'm going to hot glue them in place 
Um, I did decide later on that I didn't like it. It just was something about the shape as well as I think just the way that the wig fit with it. So instead, I just turned it into a pin and it flows into the rest of the braid, which you will see later on the wig. I just used a plastic um, hair comb and attached it with glue and it matches the hair. Um, as far as putting the decorations into the hair, I just use hot glue and I painted over it with brown paint to blend it all in. And here is the wig. Um, you can watch my other video on how I finished the wig and there will be more videos in this build. So I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.